but then the fact is that uh, if most people, if you look at your marketing, you understand all your numbers. You know, if you look at your ads, no matter how much of a marketing person you are, if you look at your ads as a brand owner, you know your ROAS. Right? If I ask you what's your Google Ads ROAS, you probably have a number, right? Mm -hmm. If I ask you if you're more in the marketing, if I ask you about your cost per click, if I ask you about your CPM, if I ask you about any of that, you probably know that. Mm -hmm. Even if you're a product-based person or you have a very strong product, man, you know what's your average card value. Right? You know all of these stats. That you, that's why you know those, because you measure those. You look at those every day, because that's how you measure if your business is doing well or not. Mm -hmm. right? But then on the other side, if I ask, so if I ask how good is your marketing, you can tell me that immediately. This is my ROAS, right? If I ask you how good is your product, well, I feel it's good, <laughs> right? My product is the best. Of course, it's really good. Yes. <laughs> and there is a reason why you have a brand, why your brand is already successful, why you're at two, three, four million on Shopify. There's a reason for that, right? But then how do you measure? How do you measure the brand funnel? How do you measure how good is your brand experience? How good is your product? <laughs> right? There are actually things that you can measure and that you can automate and put in place. And that's something I think we should touch on. It's a bit more technical, but we can kind of talk about that, right? For like the product, the shipping, the support, like there's different metrics, right? Uh, do you want to talk about some of them? If not, I just go like... Yeah, like we can, we can talk. I would like to talk about the, the, the ones that people will relate most. Mm -hmm. uh, like I consider uh, the, is, the easiest one, return rate. Yes. Like that's, that's, a, that's basic. How many people actually return the products because their expectations were not met? Mm. What happened? You promised them something. They received the product that didn't fulfill that promise. So that's why they return it. Right. Right? That's basically what return rates mean. So 5%, that means that it's 5% of the people that receive the product decided that actively... They want to do something about it. They don't want to use it. They had a bad experience with your brand and they return it. I tell you from, my, from me, because I'm a lazy person, I don't do, I don't do returns. Me neither. Like, I decide to use my bad shoes. Yes. <laughs> or throw it away. I don't use or it. Through, or through or use right? it. I don't do the effort of like messaging them. Now I need to ship it back. Now I, I don't care. It's like keep my Twitter on B. I I don't I don't want to do. I lost it. It's no. my fault for deciding to buy from you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right. 